Welcome back to Wrenching Rack. Daddy's out here today, hiding in the corner and looking at colors. And this is one of those weird scenarios. I have a million other projects, I have a million other things to do, but this is a cool bike. Deny it, you can't. So, I also have a perfect set of 16 inch mag wheels up front. Yesterday, we made the list on this for what I need. I definitely need a rear inner tube for the back tire. And I'm pretty sure I still have some NOS tires sitting upstairs from before the Harley days when I bought out part slots of this stuff. So we have tires. I need to order inner tubes, not that big of a deal, but it's a cool bike and it should go fast. It's got a big tank. It can handle if you're running pooks, pook maxis or something like that, where you have a 0.7 gallon tank and you throw a 70 cc kit on it. Yes, you can make them fast, but you're limited by fuel. This one's okay. This is like a one, 1.12 gallon tank ish. Doesn't matter. We already have a giant header chamber, the stock exhaust, which doesn't matter either. And the cylinders, which cylinder wasn't in bad shape, but I did bring the piston to work today. Tried separating it. I broke two of the piston rings, top and bottom. They were locked in, seized in the last video. I tried cleaning them up. Just, I didn't film anything, but took a pick, scraped around the outside, pulled them out. They started moving, started moving, started moving. Cast iron ring snapped. So now, if I want to freshen this up and do it on the budget mindseted way that I talked about, I need piston rings. Technically, I should get a piston and rehone the cylinder. If I slapped it back together, I'm out $85, $90. That's what parts cost. Or I spend $100 more than that, and we get a brand new cylinder, brand new gaskets. Uh, it's a, a bone stock one, I think is a 40 millimeter, is what a 50 cc piston ends up being. 40 millimeter diameter. We can bump it up to a 46 or 47, which puts us in the 70 cc range. Then we also get to ditch, if we do go this route, we ditch the stock oil tank because I don't trust oil injection on the early stuff. Run a premix. This goes away, which is way cleaner. And a 50 mile an hour bike as opposed to a 24, 25, 26 mile an hour bike. Not that the one mile an hour makes that big of a difference in the grand scheme of things, unless you're doing mopeds and small displacement motors. That's huge. So as of right now, Dottie approved it. She's looking at colors over there right now. But she approved. I'm going to absolutely destroy the very nice, clean condition OG paint. She gets to decorate this all she wants. We have mag wheels at the shop already. Cost us zero dollars. We have a expansion chamber pipe that I'm going to try and budget build on the pipe and the intake and carb, especially it's 2024. Jeff Bezos special Chinese carburetors that I don't love and I have a million problems with them, but they work sometimes. So we're going to do a Makuni VM 18 or 20, a Polini 70 kit, and if I can make the pipe at least the expansion section. It's rubber hose mounted from the factory in 1977. So if I can upgrade this, Gorelli's in the scheme of mopeds have a massive exhaust port chamber diameter already. So if we can change the rear section of this, essentially build ourselves a weld on, we'll be in good shape. I don't know what the gearing is. I didn't actually count the teeth on the rear or the front, but I know gearing wise, there is no problem with us getting this to 50, 52 miles an hour. 
I'm not trying to break a 60 mile an hour speed on a moped. It doesn't seem like a lot, but on a 50 or 70 cc piston, 50 cc piston here, that's a 40 mil, add seven millimeters, which is next to nothing. And that would get you to 50. That's what we're gonna do. So Dottie's gonna decorate the crap out of this and clean and polish all the chrome, which she doesn't know yet. And we're gonna build this thing. Uh, we just decided $1,000 total budget. So I'll fill you guys in on what I paid for this plus whatever else down the line. But we have $1,000 to spend. We are gonna recoat and repaint everything on here. Seat is in fantastic condition. It's not paint, but it's gonna be all powder. But we're gonna do the tank, the tins, side covers. This is cleanable. This will look brand new when it goes back on here. And then all of the mechanicals. So what can you build with $1,000? That's what we're looking at now. Unfortunately, Harley projects are on pause because that's a quarter of what I'm gonna spend to build the motor. And this fits in the back of the van for any of the shows or any of the vending stuff that we do. We don't have to pull a trailer. We don't have to do anything else. We are gonna deck this thing out. So here's the bike. If you like the spokes, I'm sorry. We're doing mag wheels because that's advertising for the coating shop. And coating the crap out of the whole thing, which means I get to disassemble a Gorelli in the next couple days. I didn't think I was gonna get approval. I thought I was gonna get shunned out of the house and have to sleep in the garage. So I have all of the mechanical control. She has all of the aesthetics and we're gonna make this ridiculous because this is gonna be our new show promoter for next year. Thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, all those fun things. Dottie will greatly appreciate it while we build her moped. This is gonna be the new Dottie mobile. There's no clutch, two-speed automatic. We'll catch you guys on the next one.